And yes, the conversation continues right here on Silverbird Television. Silverbird News 24, this is News Hub. We've talked some very important subject matters. Uh, this one is also very important because you go out, you have to stay in the structure. You come back to your house, you have to stay in the structure. You go to your church or your mosque, you have to stay in the structure. Everywhere you use, you need a structure, which is where the building professional come, comes in. Now, with the spate of an incessant building collapse in Nigeria, despite recommendations that have been made, despite punitive measures that the government seemingly have made, you know, to ensure that these disastrous incidents do not put more lives of Nigerians at risk, why is this still happening? So we're talking on Lagos Town Planning Regulations. We are, we are circling it down, micro, uh, microing it down to Lagos State. But of course, it um, also impacts and is very relatable to other states in the Federation as well as the FCT because Lagos is not the only state where building collapse you know, occurs. But we're using Lagos State now, right now, as a sample here. Lagos Town Planning Regulations, addressing citizens' concern amid demolitions of property. Well, to give or to do justice to the subject matter is an expert within the sector, Dennis Isang, a property consultant. He joins us right, right here from our Lagos studio. Uh, good morning, Dennis. It's so good to have you talk about this very important issue. Thank you so much. So as, as a consultant within the sector, I mean, what goes on through your mind? And how does it hit you when you hear, oh, this particular building is collapsed, and then you come back and hear the government say, oh, we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, we're going to mark X amount of building, and give a month, another building comes down. And so people are asking, what is going on? You know, this same topic, I, I did a comprehensive, um, a comprehensive um, interview on it on my YouTube channel. And you know, building collapse is it's becoming so common in Lagos, especially. And um, the reason is, is because, one, there are several factors which we have to consider. Um, let's start from, um, first, let me, let me put it this way. Anybody can build a house. Anybody can build a house. As far as you have the money, you can build a house. But it doesn't mean that because you have the money, you should go ahead and, and build without following the right procedure. It's very, very important. And you having the money, it is it's advisable for you to follow the right procedure before you go ahead and put even a structure on it. Put anything, even as simple as a block. You need to put, you need to at least follow the right thing. And before you even think of building a house, um, let me relate it to what happened last Friday with the, with, with the, with the way that which um, a um, couple, about 13 houses we, we are demolished in um, Ajao. And um, looking at this, at this, this, this particular um, incident started in 2015. And um, when the when fan discovered that some people have enclosed their, enclosed their property, a warning was given to them, 2015, and um, they decided to ignore. But some, the, some part of the community went to meet the government, and about 22 houses were put to normal, uh, they, they were regularized. Mm. Then 13 of them, they were involved. We are giving notices in 2016. It's not in 2015, but in 2016, those that are really affected, we are giving notice to leave. But you know, even after that, some people still went ahead and start building without following the right procedure. I know in Lagos, especially, let me use Lagos as, as a case study. Before you even put one thing on the ground, first and first, you need to confirm the, the land itself, to confirm it is in the right location. What, what, do I mean, what do I mean is this, what, something we call, we call um, coordinates. Each, this where we have currently as a coordinate. So, um, and Lagos has a, ma has a master plan that every coordinate, every location, have what that place can be used for. So, but because, of people, because some people have money, they just go ahead and buy property without doing the right thing, which is the first thing first. You pick the, you, take a, you bring your survey into the, into the game. And there's a particular um, saying that said, um, Building start from surveyor okay. and end with the surveyor. You will bring a surveyor to the game, which means the surveyor will pick the coordinates of that location, go to the master plan of Lagos, and to confirm whether that place is free to be used for the purpose you want to use for. A place, a place um, can, can, can be free, but the purpose is, not, is wrong. 
a place can be used for, um, a place can be occupied by um, the place is owned by government and the purpose that the government will use that place for if you go ahead and buy that property or that, that land you you only last so you are a temporary tenant in that particular mm. in that particular um, land and if you if you proceed if you decide to, if you decide to proceed with all this uh, uh, without following the procedure in 20 years time in 30 years time what happened in Jajawu can happen again interesting that, that guess is what happened in Jajawu can happen again and even after you get your your coordinate and confirm that that land is good for you to use in, in building the next step to do is for you to get what they call planning permits planning permits will okay is um is, is for you to um if, before you can go ahead and get the building approval you need a planning permit to confirm that you have the permit to do anything on that land after that you cannot proceed to go um, and get the building approval so and you need the right you need the right um, professionals in this in this which is a surveyor you need a lawyer in, 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 the, in mm -hmm. some case. You need an architect. You need a building uh, contractor. You need all these things to make sure that when you are building, when you are building, uh, building a house, you will not have all, you will not have all these ups and downs we have, which, is, which, um, mm -hmm. which include collapse or yes. government coming to diminish and the rest. No, it's, it's good to know that this is an, an, an anomaly. It's not supposed to happen. And if, uh, aside structural defects, individual lapses in judgment as well when it comes to greed when it comes to not following proper procedure is one of the issues that are there mm -hmm. well we have a uh, abuja studio on standby to join in the conversation i don't know i mean dennis here has been talking to us about the things that people who have money and want to build a house must do to avoid you know um going under let me use the word the radar of those that will be collapsed as it were i'm sure you have more questions for him mm. Oh, well, uh, um, you know, it's interesting that he said, uh, he, he, he answered the question. I, I love what he said, you know, but then the reality on ground does not uh, reflect uh, what he has said. Because when you look at the level of embarrassing this, uh, information that comes out of Lagos in respect, with respect to building collapse, uh, considering the fact that Lagos is, uh, global, is a globally known city, uh, one would have thought that government will be, uh, will be a bit more proactive in that regard. But then, here's a question, uh, Dennis. Um, if, for instance, the Lagos state government decides, because we've heard about this, but then they decide and they have the political will, to go on a demolition spree, to demoly, to de mark buildings and demolish them, buildings they know are substandard and could cave in at some point in the future or in the nearest future. Um, what would be your reaction to that? Because uh, Lagos is densely populated, and one of the major challenges in Lagos has to do with uh, accommodation. Uh, what's your standpoint on that? Um, you know. The truth is this, the government agency have their own part to play and um, reality is there are so many discrepancies when it comes to government agency. And the truth is this, there are so many um, properties in Lagos 